time to do this, I'll need my own team. You won't like them. They're all... No! Mad. They'll need to be. A Guy Ritchie film, like the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, is a combination of fast-cutting action and eccentric humor. It's unique. That's my take. But I asked the stars, Henry Cavill, Alex Pettifer, and Hero Finds Tiffin, what a Guy Ritchie film was to them and in the theaters. I think Guy is great at crafting character. Okay. And he knows a lot of characters. And so he has an understanding of what is interesting. He can recognize it almost immediately. He can verbalize it. And he can give us an example, which then we can run with. And he will let us run free. And if the idea is terrible, he will ridicule us. But it's done in such a good natured way. And that when someone does have a good idea, they're also praised and raised up. To what extent do you think we're actually getting back into going to the theater anymore? You, you know, it's a, it's a really interesting question because I had this conversation with Carrie Elves uh, two nights ago. And he was telling me about a conversation he had with Bob Zemeckis. And he says, and we are a different generation of movie lovers. He goes, because in this generation, that there is only two things really that you have to be on time for, a flight and a movie. I think over the last 10 years, there is this increasingly uh, more thirst for great films. And look at the summer that we had last year with Oppenheimer and Barbie, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we want to go to these event movies, but we don't want just to go to event for big IP. We want to go to event to see a fun cinematic experience. Well, now you've, you've grown up during the era, though, when we've gone away from that, where streaming is, mm -hmm. is more important. To what extent do you identify with, with what they're saying? It's the convenience and comfort that tricks you into thinking it's a good thing, but it's actually not because you mm. get to a point where you realize you've missed a bit or you've lost interest or, or whatever. And there's no, there's no feeling that even people in my generation or people who are younger, I'm sure they resonate, they've hopefully been to at least one viewing at the, at the cinema where you, you know, you hit, everyone laughs at the same time. It's also watching with people and it's the commitment to it. That's what I notice most when I'm watching something in America and there's a lot more of a vocality in, from, from the audience. And yes. I, really enjoy, I really enjoyed that for me. That's not, I don't think it's the same in, in Britain as it is there. We, we can be a bit stiff up a little. Yeah. Yeah. We sort of enjoy yeah. quietly and with manners, yeah. but... Uh, Stop it's... eating your pop. I yeah, like yeah. the idea of, every, you know, but, a bit of, of... Yeah. Terribly so, yes, absolutely so. Absolutely so. <laughs> In London, I'm Patrick Stoner. Flicks with Patrick Stoner explores the craft and culture of filmmaking that enhance our communities for television stations and websites around the country.